Hello guys, hopefully everyone is fine. In today's video, we will be using the concept of uh, limits or uh, you're talking about con using the concept of limit functions to find which uh, notation is you is supposed to be used uh, there are three basic formulas that are normally used and you have to follow those formulas only uh, we have taking that limit n raised to power infinity fn and gn both would be given to you because you are going to compare and then you have to find uh, you have to basically check whether it is big o big omega and big theta so it is actually equal to l now l has three values if l value is zero if l value is zero we can clearly write it as fn is order of gn this is when l value is zero if l value is any constant i can say that fn is theta of gn right and if l value is infinite by default i can always say that fn is omega of gn again zero means big o c in constant means big theta and infinite says big omega uh, let me tell you these are some some of the uh, formulas which are derived from certain uh, theorems as well they may not be efficient but uh, efficient enough to solve some certain questions like uh, we we are having some issues that fn is uh, let's say 2n square plus 5n plus 7 and gn is 7n square for that matter now we are having confusion that we know that this can belong to uh, omega that can belong to theta and it can belong to even big o also but which is right you just need to use the formula limit n raised to power infinity your fn is fn divided by gn would be 2n square plus 5n plus 7 divided by 7n square i can write it as 2n square 7n square plus 5n plus 7n square 7 by 7n square uh, this is definitely a constant value 2 divided by 7 right plus 5 uh, by 7n 7 uh, so and 1 by n square right now if i put n value as infinite over here over here 5 divided by infinity is 0 1 divided by infinity is 0 so we are having the answer of 2 divided by 7 which is a constant value we can clearly say that if it is a constant value fn is theta of gn this is calculated like this so uh, in the second question you can also take the value of fn as n square plus n plus 1 and gn is n cube so what answer you are going to get so again limit n raised to power infinity fn divided by gn n square plus n plus 1 divided by n cube n square by n cube n by n cube and 1 by n cube again it would be 1 by n plus 1 by n square plus 1 by n cube all will be well be of infinite infinite and infinite clearly your fn would be 1 by infinite is uh, your uh, 1 by infinite answer would be your 1 by infinite 1 by infinite and 1 by infinite all answers are actually zero so it means clearly your limit n raised to power infinity fn gn is actually a zero value so clearly it is an order of gn 
So these are the questions for uh, limit par. There are many many questions. I'll be sharing those in my uh, in my notes also. So kindly just follow it. If you like this video, kindly like, share, and subscribe. And thank you very very much.